Hare Krishna. Reading from the book Sinamrita, the Nectar of the Holy Name, by Jivan Grace, Eshi Bhakti Vam Sajra Prabhupada, Content Chapter 5. Because Krishna is everything, one who chants Hare Krishna is performing all kinds of yagyas. The Brahmanas at Daksha sacrificed to Lord Vishnu. The Brahmana said, Dear Lord, you are sacrifice personified. You are the offering of all you are the offering of clarified butter. You are the fire, you are the chanting of very kinds by which the sacrifice is conducted. You are the fuel, you are the flame, you are the kusha grass, and you are the sacrificial pots. You are the priest who perform the yagyas. You are the demigods headed by Indra and you are the sacrificial animal. Everything that is sacrificed in you or your energy. In this statement, Lord Vishnu's all pervasiveness is partially explained. It is said in the Vishnu Purana that as a fire situated in one place emanates its heat and illumination everywhere, so whatever we can we see within the material or spiritual worlds is nothing but a manifestation of different energies emanating from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Brahmana statement is that Lord Vishnu is everything, the fire, the offering, the clarified butter, the utensils, the place of sacrifice and the pusha. He is everything. It is confirmed herein that the performance of Sankirtana Yajna in this age is as good as all other yajnas in all other ages. If one performs Sankirtana Yajna by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, there is no need to arrange elaborate paraphernalia for the prescribed sacrificial ceremonies recommended in the Vedas. In the chant of the holy names, the Hare and Krishna, Hare means the energy of Krishna and Krishna is the Vishnu Tattva. Combined together, they are everything. In this age, persons are harassed by the influence of Kali Yuga and cannot arrange for the all requisite paraphernalia for performing sacrifice as recommended in the Vedas. But if one simply chants Hare Krishna, it is to be understood that he is performing all kinds of yagyas because there is nothing within our vision except Hare, the energy of Krishna and Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 5, Text 45. In this age, Shankirtana Yagya, chanting of the holy name of the Lord, is more important than the Vedic ritualistic sacrifices, Yamaras to Yamadutas, because they are bewildered by the illusory energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Yagya Valkya, Jaimini, and other compilers of the religious scriptures cannot know the secret. Confidential religious system of the twelve Mahajanas. They cannot understand the transcendental value of the performing devotional service or chanting the Hare Krishna mantra because their minds are attached to the ritualistic ceremonies mentioned in the Veda, especially the Yajur Veda, Shama Veda and Rig Veda. Their influence has become dull. They are busy collecting the ingredients for ritualistic ceremonies that yield only temporary benefits such as elevation to Swargaloka for material happiness. They are not attracted to the Sankirtana movement. Instead, they are interested in Dharma, Artha, Kama and Moksha. Since one may easily achieve the highest success of by chanting the holy name of the Lord, one may ask why there are so many Vedic ritualistic ceremonies and why people are attached to them. This verse answered that question as stated in Bhagavad Gita 15.15 Vedesh Sarvair Am Eva Vedya The real purpose of studying the Vedas is to approach the lotus feet of the Lord Krishna. Unfortunately, unintelligent people bewildered by the grandeur of Vedic Yagyas want to see gorgeous sacrifices performed. They want Vedic mantras chanted and huge amounts of money spent for such ceremonies. Sometimes we have to observe the Vedic ritualistic ceremonies to please such unintelligent men. Recently, when we established the large Krishna Balram temple in Vrindavan, we were obliged to have Vedic ceremonies enacted by the Brahmanas because the inhabitants of Vrindavan, especially the Smartha Brahmanas, 
would not accept Europeans and Americans as a bona fide Brahmanas. Thus, we had to engage Brahmanas to perform costly yagyas. In spite of these yagyas, the members of our society performed Sankirtan loudly with Mridanga, and I consider the Sankirtan more important than the Vedic ritualistic ceremonies. Both the ceremonies and the Sankirtanas were going on simultaneously. The ceremonies were meant for persons interested in Vedic rituals for elevation to heavenly planet. Jadi Krita Matir Madhu Uspitayam. Whereas the Sankirtana was meant for the pure devotees interested in pleasing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We would simply have performed Sankirtana, but then the inhabitants of Vrindavan would not have taken the installation ceremony seriously. As explained here, the Vedic performances are meant for those whose intelligence has been deluded by the flowery languages of the Vedas, which describes fruitive activities intended to ele elevate to the higher planets. Especially in the age of Kali, Sankirtan alone is sufficient. If the member of our temples in different parts of the world simply continue Sankirtana before the deity, especially before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they will remain perfect. There is no need of any other performance. Hare Krishna, Shri Nam Prabhu Ki Jai, Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai.